to welcome Abby Perry. She's the owner of Abby's Garden Party. Hi, Abby. How are you? Hi, welcome Abby. Welcome back. See Good you. to see you. Thanks for having me back. Uh, you're welcome. Last time awesome. you were here, you helped us build this little beautiful terrarium. Yes. Our family still has the terrarium. Ooh, I'm so cute. So happy to hear that. Yeah. I love to see former customers come back and tell me how their plants are doing. 99% of the time, they're doing well. And that's why I give people plant tips. Because a lot of times when you buy a plant, you don't get any directions with yeah. it. Isn't that the truth? It's true. And then all of a sudden, one day, you realize the plant's not doing too well. Yeah, like, why? Well, it looks very sad. <laughs> yeah, so what are the benefits, first of all, as we look toward National Plant Indoor Plant Week of having an indoor plant? I'm so glad you asked that. There's actually a NASA study that shows having a plant inside a small space, like your bedroom or your office, can actually improve air quality. Okay. Isn't that incredible? But not only are the physical help, but you can also, they've been shown to help with your mood, help yeah. with relaxation, just help by having it in your room. That's fun. I and love that. These are succulents, right? So what, what's the benefit of a succulent versus just a traditional house plant, Abby? Yep. If you're going to buy an indoor plant, a succulent is a great option because they are low maintenance. Okay. I like to say they thrive on neglect. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got two Sounds plant like a good match. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> two plant tips for That's you great. on that. Okay. So the first plant hack with your succulents is I use an ice cube to water them. That's it. Just an ice cube from just an ice. Just toss the ice cube in. Just toss it in. And how I remember to water it is these usually twice a week. So payday. When you see that check hit your account, yeah. yes. you go and pay your plant with an ice cube. You see Obviously. the money coming in, which is green, you think, my plants. Jill, Got it. That is a wonderful memory well, device. <laughs> exactly. It's a little anchor for just, your memory. You know, when you get paid, water that plant. Yeah. I like the that. other thing about succulents that's super fun is the variety. And there are so many out there. For Halloween, I have some super fun ones on the terrarium bar. I have actually two different ones that look like brains. Oh, oh really? Fun. Okay. So this little guy yeah. is a brain plant. That and he cool. would look really cute in like a skull or even in one of my terrariums yes. decorated yes. with a holiday theme. And then these are actually called living rocks. Living rocks. But I think they look like brains too. Yeah, I can I see that. Oh, yeah. Halloween. yeah. So when you have a garden party with me, I come and I set everything up and you get to choose your plant and your accessories and I serve as your plant guide. It's really, really fun. I mean, the first time that we had you on the show, we became children again. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, tell us about these garden parties. What goes on and how can people book you? Exactly. And they are not only for children. That's my motto is you are never too old to play in I the dirt. That. So I do everything from 60th birthday parties to children's parties to just girls night out. Yeah. yeah. Grab five friends and I will come. I set this all up for you and I walk you and your guests through. I take par uh, care of the dirty work so you and your guests can just sit back, relax, yeah. and enjoy a little bit of plant therapy. It's really relaxing. I was going to say, I'm so, so glad you said it. Yeah. It's therapeutic. There's something about touching that dirt and yeah. playing in it that just kind of brings yes. us and grounds us back in nature. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's why I love doing that. And these are so easy to care for. And so many people are shy about plants. I have people come up to me if I'm at a market or an event and say, I am a plant killer. And that's because they never <laughs> got directions with their plant. It's like they admitted to you, like I'm admitting that I'm I am plant a killer. plant killer. Yes. Or they say, I don't have a green thumb. And that breaks my heart. Give plants, especially now with this being National Indoor Plant Week, yeah. it's a great opportunity to treat yes. yourself to an indoor plant. And I love how you've brought little details like these sparkly pumpkins and ways to switch it out based on the season because then you can put your own personal touch on everything. I'm gonna put this little guy. Oh, you're going to put, who is that? Uh, this is Frank the Gnome. Oh, his name's Frank. Okay. Yeah, I just named him. It was the first name that came into my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh, all over. It's oh, okay. Frank. I'm sorry, sorry, Frank. your garden sorry, Frank. party, I bring little pieces of tape so you can tape them on to your terrarium over there. And we've got the little bags of dirt. So I take I care it. of all the dirty work for you. Yeah. You yeah. just sit back and get your plant on. Yeah. And have fun. We've got the information right here, abbysgardenparties.com if you'd like to book her for an event. Yes. And thank you so much for bringing some fun here to the studio. My pleasure. Thanks yeah, for having thank me. Thank you, Abby. Give her a follow on social right there, Abby's Garden Parties on Facebook and Instagram.